Welcome to Google Calendar 303. In the last video, you learned how to adjust some of your preferences to change the layout of information on the screen through your settings under the gear button at the top of the page. For the most part, we have gone over how to operate the tools listed at the top of your calendar window. These tools mostly affect your calendar layout, not your calendar content. This video will explain how you can view and share the actual content in your calendar, and for this, we'll turn to the options on the left panel on your screen. Google Calendar displays three drop-down menus, a mini calendar, a menu called My Calendars, and another menu called Other Calendars. The mini calendar option is a quick way to navigate to a certain date on your calendar. To use this, click the mini drop-down arrow. A calendar view of the current month will show. You can move to different months by clicking the forward or reverse arrows. Clicking a date on any month will move the main calendar on the right to that particular date. For instance, if I go to April 2013 and click the 23rd of the month, the calendar on the right will automatically display the week containing that day because I've selected the week mode at the top. No matter where you are on the calendar date, you can easily go back to the current date by clicking the Today button at the top of the screen. The next drop-down list, titled My Calendars, lists all of the different calendars that you've created. You can create calendars for anything you want. It's good to categorize your activities into different categories because they're easier to sort. The box next to each calendar will be white if it's not displayed on the right. To display the calendar, just click the title. The box will be filled in with the specific color used for the events posted in that calendar. You can choose to overlap any or all calendars in your list by clicking the appropriate titles. For instance, if I not only want to see my work schedule but my appointments as well, I can click the calendar title Appointments. The events will be shown on the right. On a final note regarding color coding, Google Calendar will use a faded version of the color for events that have passed. For each calendar you create, you have the option to share it with whomever you want. If you hover your cursor over a calendar title, you will see that a drop-down arrow will show next to it. Click this arrow and select Share This Calendar. Google Calendar gives you the option to share your calendars with other Google Calendar users, coworkers in your company, or to the public via a public link, or even by embedding your calendar into a web page. To share with another Google user, enter in their email address under the Share with Specific People option. Under Permission Settings, there are four options. Make Changes means that this person will have the power to edit the calendar you're sharing. This is useful if you have fellow coworkers or students that are working on projects together. The Manage Sharing option gives this person the power to share the calendar with other people. When you finish, click Add Person. They will then receive an email invitation. Finally, click Save. If another user has shared calendars with you, they will be shown under the Other Calendars drop-down list. These calendars work essentially the same way, where you click on the title to display the calendar on the right. This is a great way to visually find open time slots between two people or more. If you want to access someone else's calendar, you can type in their email address and click Enter. A window will pop open where you can email them a request to view their calendars. Just click the Send Request button. The next tutorial will explain some different ways you can share your calendar and how to add extra experimental features through Google Labs.